Did you know that using the wrong type of drywall compound can actually make your repair job worse? That's right, joint compound and spackle are not interchangeable, and using the wrong one can lead to cracks, bubbles, and other problems. So do you want to make sure your drywall repair job is done right? If so, then keep watching because I'm going to show you everything you need to know about choosing the right drywall compound for your project. Joint Compound Joint Compound is a type of drywall compound that is used to fill in large gaps and seams between drywall sheets. It is also used to smooth out the surface of drywall before painting or wallpapering. Joint Compound is available in a variety of finishes, including smooth, textured, and sandable. Speckle. Speckle is a type of drywall compound that is used to fill in small holes and dents in drywall. It is also used to repair minor damage to plaster or other types of wall coverings. Speckle is available in a variety of colors, so you can choose one that matches the color of your wall. So which one should you use? Joint compound is the best choice for large jobs, such as filling in gaps between drywall sheets. Speckle is the best choice for small jobs such as filling in nail holes or digs. But wait, there's more. Did you know that there are actually different types of joint compound and spackle? That's right, there are different formulas and finishes available. So it's important to choose the right one for your project. Here are a few things to keep in mind when choosing between joint compound and spackle. If you're working on a large project such as hanging a new drywall, you'll need to use joint compound. Speckle is not strong enough to hold up to the weight of drywall sheets. Finish. If you're painting the wall, you can use either paint compound or spackle. However, if you're wallpapering, you'll need to use spackle. Speckle is designed to be sanded smooth, which is important for a good wallpaper finish. So there you have it. Giant compound and spackle are two common materials that are used to repair drywall by understanding the key differences between these two materials you can choose the right one for your next project. So guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos.